read that the line is hard for the new players. You don't feel like a cowboy, you feel like a homeless in a constant need. But don't worry, with this simple step-by-step -step guide you will have no problems with money in a few days. And it's not a clickbait or something. To prove my method, I've actually started brand new character in Red Dead Online and tested all that I'm about to say in this video. The first step is probably the most important, but many people don't know about it. It will help you to get 10 gold bars for free and it's gonna be much easier beginning with these 10 gold bars. So before even making your first shot in this game, you should go to your social club account and set up two-step verification. You will have to confirm your email first to do so. It will not only protect your account from being stolen, not like anyone would like to steal your low-level account, but still. But also you will receive bonus from Rockstars for doing so and the most important part of this bonus is 10 gold bars. Usually it takes from 24 to 72 hours to receive the bonus. So while you're waiting, there is a second step. Prepare for the future ultimate grinding. Which basically means play the game and don't worry about anything for a few hours. I mean complete few story missions, maybe do some stranger missions in a free roam, they are marked with this sign. And usually they are like women who see that you have a Ferrari, I mean pretty easy. I have no idea what am I talking about because I don't have a Ferrari, but these missions are actually easy. Anyway, you need to do this for a few reasons. First, get used to the controls in the game. Second, to earn some money and experience, but the most important, to earn some gold. As there is something that you have to know about how gold is earned in this game. Whether you're completing story missions, stranger missions, or let's say bounty hunter missions, the amount of gold that you're gonna get depends only on the times that you've spent in this mission. And timer starts when the mission begins, not when you see the timer on your screen. This one means nothing. Mission starts, timer starts. And the stupidest thing is, the more time you will spend on your mission, the bigger reward you will get. So no one is interested in finishing super fast. That's what she said. No time. But she did. No time. So for example, in a bounty hunter mission, if you will complete the mission in 9 minutes, you will earn 24 gold nuggets. But if you will complete it in 12 minutes, you will earn 32 gold nuggets. And for the half hour, you will earn 48 gold nuggets. By the way, you also can go to PvP. There you will earn 0.9 gold bars per hour and it doesn't matter whether you will kill anyone or not. And if you want to go to PvP at the lower levels, I strongly suggest you to choose Hardcore series. And it sounds weird, why would a new player go to the Hardcore series? You see, in this game, high-level players have insane advantage over the low-level players because of the ability cards, tonics, weapons and stuff like that. But in a Hardcore series, all this stuff is disabled. If you've played in some shooters, you will handle it and you will earn not only gold, but also some good money in this PvP. Not insane money, but decent. Our main goal during this step 2 is to get some money, gold and experience while we're waiting for the reward from the 2 step purification. Actually, we need exactly 5 gold bars and it's not gonna be super hard to get because remember, each 5 levels you will receive treasure map on your mail. After reading the map and finding the treasure, we will earn on average $100 and 1 gold bar. On average, sometimes you will get less, sometimes you will get more. Anyway, more detailed guide on the treasure maps you can find on my channel, link will be in the description. Also don't forget to make at least one daily challenge every day. Just pick the easiest one and do it. Until you will have at least 7 day daily challenge streak, I don't suggest you to do them all, because it's gonna be hard for a new player and you will spend a lot of time and your hour earnings in gold will not be impressive. So anyway, now you've played for some time, you've earned some gold, you are at least level 10 and you have some money. And now it's the time for our third step investing into buying the most necessary items. I suggest you to buy two weapons on the low levels. First of all, Varmint Rifle. It's pretty cheap, but it's an extremely effective PvE weapon. If you will go for a headshots, you will kill NPCs super fast and easy. Also, you're gonna need this weapon for killing rabbits, birds and collecting bird eggs if you will decide to do it. It's unnecessary, but just in case. Second weapon that you're gonna need is a bow. It's available on level 10 and it's also not that expensive. And it's a great weapon to hunt bigger animals like deers, just make sure that you're hitting into the head, this is how you will not ruin the pelt quality. But the most important killing NPCs and players with the bow will level up your health bar. Now ability cards. First of all, during the pro 
unlock you will be able to choose one ability card for free and I suggest you to choose Painted Black, it's probably the best ability card in the game so why not take it for free. Also on the level 10 for 50 bucks you can unlock first passive ability card, but to be honest level 1 passive card will not do any difference on the lower level so you can save 50 bucks for now. In the future you will have to buy this ability cards, but now there is no real need. Rather spend this money on buying the best available stirrups for your saddle and hay for your horse, so your horse won't be hungry all the time. So now you have all you need and you're ready for the final step. Step number 4. Making money. If you already have 10 gold bars for the account verification, go to Madame Nazar. After watching pretty long cutscene, you will have to pay your 15 gold bars to this madame and she will start walking with you. Okay, for some reasons you don't have your 15 gold bars yet, it's not a problem, you can still start grinding, but there will be few disadvantages. First of all, it's gonna be a little bit harder to find collectible items because there won't be no sound or controller vibration when you are close to them. But actually it's not a big deal, tarot cards that we are going to collect are not that hard to find even without the collector's license. The bigger problem is that you're not gonna get collector's role experience each time when you're picking up the collectible item. So I really suggest you to wait until you will have 15 gold bars. Ok, now we are ready to start the actual grind. You go to the Red Dead Online interactive map made by the Gene Rope, link will be in the description. And as you can see, this map shows all the collectible items locations in the game. But we are interested in collecting only tarot cards, because unlike many other collectibles, they don't have random spawns and they are pretty easy to find actually. So we hide all the collectibles and check only 4 tarot cards collections. You can even generate a road that will show you step by step how exactly you should find all these collectibles. Keep in mind that sometimes you will want to make a fast travel, so make sure that you have at least 10 bucks with you. Keep in mind, we can sell collectible items to Madame Nazar separately, but we don't want to do so because by selling full collections we are getting experience and much more money. Anyway, for me it took 1 hour and 43 minutes to get 4 full tarot cards collections. It's not a world record or something, I'm pretty sure it's an average result and you can expect to gather them in pretty much the same time. I've earned 6500 experience points for picking up collectibles and another 6000 experience points for selling full collectibles to Madame Nazar. 1500 experience points per each full collection. So that's how you're getting 7300 experience points per hour and it's a lot for a new player. It's important because many items in the game have minimum level requirement and also let's not forget that each 5 levels you are getting free treasure map that means that you will earn 1 gold bar and 100 dollars on average. But even more important is that by selling 4 full collections to Madame Nazar you will earn 1053 dollars. It's insane amount of money for a new player, I mean you've earning 600 dollars per hour this way and for a new player it's unachievable, it's just like not even close to any other farming method available. By the way, if you don't feel like grinding today, there is a light version of this method. You have to pick only two collections, swords and pentacles. Because they are more expensive than other two collections and picking cards gives you 150 experience points instead of 100 points for the other collections. Anyway, I've spent less than one hour together in two collections and earned $574 plus 7200 experience, so you have pretty much the same experience per hour, losing a little bit money, but it doesn't feel like a grind and it takes only around one hour. Anyway, now you have the money and it leads us to our final step. Step number 5. Enjoy the game without worrying about money. I mean, you can invest the money that you've earned into the collector's roll upgrades like shovel and metal detector later and have the access to even more expensive collections. Or you can just spend them on the things that you want to buy, maybe it's a sniper rifle, maybe some ability cards, who knows, maybe even stupid looking clothing, it's up to you. The bottom line is, now each time when you're gonna need the money in Red Dead Online, you will know what to do and how to get them pretty easy. And don't worry about the gold, by making daily challenges and finding treasures, you will get a lot of gold pretty soon. And one more thing, please don't forget, you are playing in this game to have 
fun and that's why you need money to buy the stuff that will make gameplay more enjoyable for you. So don't abuse this method to get a lot of money for sake of just getting a lot of money. It's a mistake that many players do. I mean, in my opinion, it's a mistake. Just try to keep the balance. Anyway, I've told you everything you need to know about this best farming method for new players. I hope you enjoyed it and will find it useful. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and as always, thank you for watching. До свидания.